In this video, we are going to learn two techniques in order to extend the backdrop inside of Photoshop. Now there are a variety of reasons that you may want to do this, but let's begin by selecting the crop tool by pressing C on the keyboard. I'm going to extend the canvas out to the right, maybe just to alter the composition a bit, and then I'm going to press enter or return. And naturally, you'll notice that I have empty pixels in that area. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer with a command or control J. Now this technique works really well if you shoot in studio and your background maybe doesn't reach as far as you need it to. And maybe you can see the, the lights or the studio or just something you don't wish to have in the photograph. That's when you would use this technique. I'm going to press M on the keyboard in order to select the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to click and drag and just select this area I wish to extend. Then I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose content aware scale. I now have handles that I can click and drag to the right and then press enter or return to commit that change and command or control D in order to deselect. Now I would say that Photoshop just did an okay job at scaling those pixels, but it really did warp them and they don't look the same on the right as they do on the left. So let me demonstrate a better way. I'm going to go back to the original photograph by pulling up the history palette and just selecting the original image. This time I'm going to press C in order to select my crop tool but I'm going to make sure that content aware is selected in the tool options bar. Now I'm going to click and drag to the right to add a little more canvas to this image. Press enter or return in Photoshop did a pretty good job at rendering that result. Now obviously the quality of the result is greatly dependent on the background of the photograph. Occasionally, you may wish to use the clone stamp or the healing brush in order to fix any repeating patterns, but this technique can be very helpful when you need to either change the composition of a photo, extend a backdrop, or maybe just add some canvas space because you wish to use the photo in a certain place on your website. I hope that you found this useful.